What's up guys, welcome back to another Borderlands the pre-sequel unique weapon guide and today I'm going to be going over the E-Gun, which is a Ghostbusters reference. It is, uh, it's like the gun in Ghostbusters they use against the ghosts, I don't know, I haven't seen the movie in like, years. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely a Ghostbusters reference and apparently in Ghostbusters there is a doctor named Dr. Egon. Egon, 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 get it? Get it? Anyway, yeah, it's also a non-elemental Mali one. I'll get into that in a second. But to get this, you want to go over to Pickle and accept a, uh, a side quest called Sub Level 13, and you're gonna complete the side quest and then get Sub Level 13 Part 2. And when you get Sub Level 13 Part 2, that is the mission you actually get the E gun from, or you can mess it up and get some um, uh, some green grenade. <laughs> some green grenade. You don't want a green grenade. You want the E gun. You want the E gun. So make sure you. Uh, pick use the inverter instead of leaving sub level 13 and turn the quest in the schmidt here and you get the e-gun and the e-gun will always have fixed parts it'll always be all maliwan besides the barrel with this doll it has the railgun barrel but it shoots like a beam and it's a really really cool gun i really love it when i first got this gun um, I was in love with it in normal mode nothing resists it it hits everything neutrally and it was such a good gun but then in true vault mode um, Shields resist it, and you can get the uh, the Rosie in through alternate mode. So, mm, the Rosie completely outclasses this gun. Has 518 percent continuous damage bonus compared to this one's 214 percent. It can come in elements compared to this thing not coming in any in any elements. I mean, it technically is elemental. I said it was a non-elemental Mali one, but it technically is because its element is uh, you know like super effective. It's super effective. Oh, ghost fainted. You know, it's uh, it's only super effective against ghosts. It's only good against ghosts. But you only fight ghosts like one time in the game. So, other than that, it's basically neutral to everything. Unless you're in TVA gem like I am right now, then shields resisted. But um, there are a few enemies in this area that I kind of melt their shields, even though it's resisted, because it is a very, very good gun. It's a very good gun, very cool gun. Definitely has a great design to it. Very special, very unique. Um, it's a great gun, but the thing is, it's outclassed by the Rosie, so why would you really want an endgame one when you can have an endgame Rosie? Because the Rosie's much better. I mean, if you have, like, if you're stuck with, like, an electric Rosie, then you may want to get this just to hit everything else, like, neutrally. But if you have an electric Rosie, you're hitting everything else neutrally anyway, so... <laughs> I mean, I keep this gun around just because I love it. It's a really, really nice gun. It's probably one of my favorite in this game. It's probably one of my favorite in the Borderlands franchise, but the Rosie is just so much better that there's really there's really no point I hate saying it but there's really no point in getting this gun even if they nerfed the Rosie it'd probably still be better because it comes in elements but yeah but it's it's a very very good gun very cool very nice reference behind it um, the, the side quest is also kind of fun and pickle pickles adorable pickles an adorable little dude I know a lot of you uh, hate him but <laughs> it's pickle how could you hate a pickle but anyway guys um that's pretty much it that's the gun that's how you get it uh, I'd say go for it, but it's outclassed by the Rosie, so. I want to thank y'all for watching. I very much appreciate it. And I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.